why is Afghanistan so disorderly? Many people are comparing the withdrawal from Afghanistan with Vietnam and Iraq. And one can't help but wonder, why is Iraq war ended in such an orderly way compared with Afghanistan? The Afghanistan war lasted for 20 years and even today it doesn't have a legitimate government to represent all people. It's your very corrupt government that fled Kabul. The first moment Kabul was taken down by Taliban. Whereas Iraq, we can say, it's a quasi-democratic government. So there are at least three considerable differences between them. Number one, the size. Size matters in the sense that Iraq was much smaller and most of the major cities concentrated around two rivers. And that makes the defense system construction much easier. You don't need much logistic support in that kind of area. Whereas Afghanistan, the population is much more dispersed all over the place and that makes counterterrorism military action more difficult. Number two, that is the major challenges for the two countries are different. In Afghanistan, it's about building. But in Iraq, it's about rebuilding. Because even before 2003, Iraq was effectively a functioning state. It has a huge potential for petrol export. It was it has a centralized government even though it was a dictatorship. And also it boasted a larger population who was educated, professional, uh, business class and government class. None of these existed in Afghanistan. And so it didn't have much centralized authority to begin with because it was war after war after war. And it was at the beginning, Soviet occupation, the Soviet war, and then the tribal civil war, and then the American invasion. So much of its you know, pre-existing political infrastructure had been completely destroyed. Number three, the major purpose or motivation for the civil war within both countries are very different. In Iraq, different ethnicities poisoned by intolerance and extremism have or had competing vision for the country and what their roles are in the centralized government. Whereas in Afghanistan, it's not so much about exercise a centralized power, but the rejection of centralized power. The Taliban was very much wanting to re-establish a feudal economic model, the only model they knew. And because of these three factors, that makes these two countries very much incomparable.